Hello, welcome back to the Grape Explorer. I hope you've all got your Italian thinking caps on today as we go through 10 questions to test your Italian wine knowledge. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm the Grape Explorer, WSET certified and bringing you wine education, product reviews, and lots of wine tastings. So let's jump straight into question number one. What is the most northerly wine region in Italy? Is it A, Alto Adige, B, Trentino, C, Suave, or D, Val Policella? The difficulty with this particular question is all the regions are up in the north, and I've done that deliberately because quizzes should be testing. Um, but in this case, the answer is A, it's Alto Adige. So question two now, and this stays in the north of Italy and asks a specific question about an influence on the grape growing in the region. So which mountain range protects the vineyard regions in northern Italy? Is it A, the Apennines? Is it B, the Pennines? Is it C, the Alps? Or is it D, the Pyrenees? This is very much in style with a WSET question in that two of these answers are immediately wrong, uh, leaving you with two possibilities. The Pyrenees are, of course, bordering France and Spain. The Pennines are actually in England. So you're left with the Apennines or the Alps. And in this case, in the north of Italy, it's the Alps that are protecting the region. The correct answer is C. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a straightforward true or false question about Valpolicella. So Amarone della Valpolicella is a sweet wine. Is this true or is this false? Now this question is all about getting your terminology right and your naming conventions right for certain wines produced in Valpolicella. You have Amarone della Valpolicella, but you also have Resciotto della Valpolicella. And it's about working out which of those is a dry one and which of those is a sweet one. And Amarone della Valpolicella is in fact a dry wine. So the answer here is false. Now to move on to a grape and region matching question, question number four. What is the main variety of grape found in Suave? Is it A, Glera, B, Pinot Grigio, C, Corvina, or D, Garganega? Now this might seem relatively straightforward, um, although all these grapes are very popular in Northern Italy, so again, I haven't made it too easy. Uh, this is a typical WSET level three type question. And in this case, the answer is D, it's Garganega. Question five starts to move us a little bit further south and a question about Chianti. Chianti Classico Reserva, DOGC, wines must be aged for how long before being released onto the market? Is it A, six months, B, 12 months, C, 18 months, or D, 24 months? Uh, definitely a trickier question because we have different types of Chianti, Chianti Classico for example, this one's Chianti Classico Reserva. They do have to follow their own rules for ageing, but in this case the answer is D, it's 24 months. Staying in Tuscany, uh, question number six, what is the most dominant grape in Tuscany? Is it A, Sagratino? Is it B, Sangiovese? Is it C, Merlot? Or is it D, Cabernet Sauvignon? Again, this might seem quite straightforward on the face of it, but of course we do have our super Tuscan type wines, which use a lot of international grape varieties. But the last question was all about Chianti, the grape in Chianti Sangiovese. The correct answer here is B. Okay, question number seven is all about picking out the aromas and tastes from a particular wine. So how would you describe a Montepulciano d'Abruzzo? Is it A, high tannin, medium acidity, with flavors of black plum and cherry? Is it B, light bodied and high acidity, with green and stone fruit flavors? Is it C, medium bodied with tropical characteristics, such as ripe mango and pineapple? Or is it D, high acid, high tannin, with raspberry and red currant aromas? Again, this is a, another classic type of WSET type question, really. Uh, the sort of thing that you would get in multiple choice in the exam, because we're talking about a particular uh, area first and a particular wine. Montepulciano d'Abruzzo produce red wines. So two of these answers can be discounted immediately where we're talking about green and stone fruits and tropical fruits like pineapple. So it comes down to either A or D. And those of you who've gone for A have this one absolutely right. Well done. Question eight is a grape related question and a particular naming convention used for a particular grape in Italy. 
So Primitivo in Italy is known by what other popular name? Is it A, Merlot, B, Zinfandel, C, Chardonnay, or D, Syrah? Now I've gone for three black grapes and one white grape there, which might make you want to eliminate one of those straight away, or not necessarily. We're moving into the southern Italy here, so we're getting warmer, riper types of grapes. But if you do know your grapes inside out, you'll know that the correct answer is B, it's Zinfandel. Question number nine, staying in the south of Italy again, and this is a question about a particular grape and region pairing. So Nero Davola is the dominant grape in which region? Is it A, Basilicata? Is it B, Campania? Is it C, Puglia? Or is it D, Sicily? So how well do you know your grapes of southern Italy? One of these is slightly different from the others because one's on an island, three is on the mainland, and perhaps that's a clue because the correct answer here is D, it's Sicily. And then finally, having traveled throughout the country of Italy, question 10 is a geography-based question. Put these regions in geographical order from north to south. Basilicata, Marsh, Abruzzo, Veneto. So, are they 1, 2, 3, 4? Are they 4, 2, 3, 1? Are they 4, 2, 1, 3? Or are they 3, 1, 4, 2? Now, I started off in the north and I finished in the south. Some of the questions I've asked previously may help you with that as we go through them. I'll put the card back up on the screen again now. So, Basilicata, Marsh, Abruzzo, Veneto. So, Veneto is at the top. That's number four, which only leaves us with answers B or C. You may recall from one of the questions that Basilicata I noted in a very southern based question, so that puts number one at the end. For those of you who guessed B, well done, absolutely correct. How did you get on? Comments in below please, let me know how you got on. Too easy, too hard, just right? other topics you'd like to see. We do have lots of other quizzes available for you, of course. I'm the Grape Explorer, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.